So I take it that Candace Owens isn't necessarily the best person to confide in if you're going through a difficult time. And I say this because, well, listen for yourself. Do not consider yourselves wrong for going to therapy. I once went to therapy. I had to try it out because my parents were getting divorced and I was dragged into it. I hated it. It wasn't for me. But it is for some people. And I do suppose that some people are coming out and being better people. But on the whole, as we move toward this society that, believe, that believes that feelings trump facts, the facts don't matter, that the feelings are so important that we have to ignore the facts, we have to assume that the majority of the therapy sessions that are happening are reflecting that, right? That you have people sitting in a chair telling people that their feelings are all that matter, that no matter what they do in this world, it's perfectly okay because of some tragedy or upset that they suffer when they were five years old. And what has it produced? Well, it's produced a society of men like Prince Harry and women like Adele who overshare, who tell us way too much. And it's not a society that I want to live in. I want to live in a society like the one that my grandfather lived in. And I tell people this all the time. I never saw my grandfather cry a day in his life, even when I knew he was positively destroyed and heartbroken when we lost my grandmother, surprisingly, right? A woman that he was married to from a time that he was 17, the woman that he dedicated his entire life to and built his entire life around. My grandfather did not cry at her funeral. He was one of those men that believed that no matter what you were going through, you let it burn in your chest, right? And a lot of men don't like that now. Men don't know. Men need to be vulnerable. You actually don't need to be vulnerable in public. You don't need to be vulnerable in public. We need to see examples of strength everywhere. Strong women and strong men. And of course, we all assume that you have moments of vulnerability. We all do. All I'm saying is that we don't want to hear about it. Stop. Button it up. Let it burn in your chest. And that's all I have to say about that. Okay, Boomer. I don't know what else to say. That is a very boomer-esque rant. And I'm not necessarily referring to the boomer generation, but the boomer mentality where you have to button yourself up and be proper and never show your emotions for reasons. It doesn't make sense why she's coming to that conclusion. She didn't adequately argue why it's intrinsically more valuable for us to all hide our emotions. I mean, that seems pretty unhealthy, and we'll get to what the experts say in a moment. But I just first have to address the irony that flew right over her head. She said this, quote, we're moving towards a society that believes that feelings trump facts. The facts don't matter, that the feelings are so important that we have to ignore the facts. Yeah, I agree, Candace. The problem is that you're part of the problem and you don't realize that you're the worst messenger possible because you are the individual who operates almost exclusively on vibes. When was the last time we actually saw a fact-based analysis from Candace Owens? I mean, even if she took a data set and completely misconstrued the meaning of it and the findings from a particular study, when did she even pretend to be operating in facts? This is the same individual who says she doesn't believe in climate change. She also said that atheists don't exist. That's interesting, right? She also claimed that Bob Saget died from the COVID vaccine. On top of that, I wrote them down. Trump won the 2020 election. It was stolen from him. She also hilariously said that doctors intentionally killed people in hospitals during COVID to fluff up the numbers. And during that same rant, she said that the use of ventilators is questionable for people who need oxygen. So she's... <laughs> She's she's really reaching uh, and she's trying to make sure that everyone knows that her feelings, that is absolutely superior to facts. On top of that, uh, she claimed that Kanye West is not anti-Semitic. To be fair, though, that was before he did the I love Hitler rant. Uh, she also said that gay teachers were predators if they didn't hide their identities from students. I mean, these are all things that she said that I've talked about on my channel. So. For somebody who literally just concocts things and bases her political analysis off of her feelings, you're not the right person, Candace, to be making that claim. Now, she adds, we have to assume a majority of the therapy sessions happening are reflecting of, well, this idea that the therapist is just validating all of the emotions and putting 
emotions and feelings above facts. And Dr. Candace Owens knows this because um, uh, she took Psych 101 and got a B minus. Therefore, she is qualified to say not only what is happening in these closed door sessions between therapists and their patients, but she's able to basically make this claim that therapists aren't treating their patients appropriately. These licensed, educated therapists, they're not doing it to Candace Owens' liking. Is that so, Candace? Well, why don't you join the field? Go, <laughs> go get a f***ing degree, get your license, and practice therapy. And we'll see how well your patients fare compared to just the average therapist, because odds are 99% of them would be much worse after seeing you. Now, she says, I never saw my grandfather cry a day in his life, even at his wife's th funeral. That just made me really sad. That made me really sad. Um, first of all, it doesn't matter if your grandfather cries or doesn't cry. It doesn't matter if human beings cry or don't cry in public. Every single human being cries. I mean, I don't get why there's some people who just want others to deny human nature. Evangelicals have this problem where, you know, you, you should repress your sexual feelings. If you're gay, hide that. You know, no sex until marriage. But that's part of nature. These are things that are natural. It's not unnatural to express emotion. So I, I just don't understand why it's better if you don't cry, if you hide your emotions. I mean, she hasn't, I think, sufficiently demonstrated the case there. She claims that it makes you essentially appear more tougher. But the appearance of toughness or masculinity or strength doesn't really matter because it doesn't negate from the fact that every single human being on this planet has at one point cried. That's our first fucking thing that happens when we come into this world. We cry. So I just don't get why you're somehow inferior or a weaker person if you cry. And I say that as someone who... I also try to withhold my emotions. I mean, for one, I'm not necessarily the most emotional person in the world, but I subconsciously, you know, try to withhold my feelings whenever I feel the urge to cry. Um, and I don't know why I do that. It doesn't make me a better person if I don't cry in front of someone. It's just, you know, I, I think that these things have been embedded in us from society where, you know, men aren't supposed to show emotions. And if they are, they're perceived to be effeminate or, or weak. And even women now, they have to be overly strong to compensate for the patriarchal norms and they have to withhold their emotions. Folks, at the end of the day, we're all people. We have emotions. We have feelings. We all shit. I just don't get why she thinks it's virtuous to suppress these emotions. Her grandfather is still the same person, even if she did see him cry. It doesn't make him inherently better or worse if she does or doesn't see him cry. And it's bizarre to me that she thinks that that would somehow, I guess, change her perception of her grandfather. But let's get to the experts, because Candace Owens, as she stated in that clip, cares very much about facts. So what did the experts say? Well, insiders Lindsay Dodgson spoke to one expert, a psychologist about this, and she was very clear. Quote, if you put a lid on a boiling pot, eventually the contents will rise to the top and spill over. Human emotions are no different. If we push our feelings down and down and try to avoid them, eventually they will explode out more fiercely than before. This is one main reason people sometimes refuse to tap into their feelings, according to psychologist Perpetua. Tua Neo. She told Insider, people can be over-rational because they think the alternative is someone who cries all the time, is incredibly angry and erratic, and can't control themselves. When you ask somebody, why can't you trust your feelings, they'll tell you because last time I lost my temper, everything went to pot, Neo said. Actually, it's this whole vicious cycle that happens when we oppress our feelings. If we bottle things up, they don't just go away. Emotions will stay down until we physically can't contain them and 
anymore. Then they'll burst out fiercer than before. And it won't just be that one feeling. It will be everything else that's been thrown on top of it since. For some people, it can be years or even decades or repressed experiences. When it explodes, you do things you regret, said Neo. You spend too much money on things you don't like. You sleep with the wrong people you hate, things like that. And afterwards, you say it was your emotions that made you do it. And so Dr. Neo argues that trying to understand your emotions and grapple with them rather than trying to run away with them or suppress them leads to much better mental health outcomes. So um, as somebody who took Psych 101 myself and passed with an A, I guess I can psychoanalyze Candace Owens in the same way that she analyzed all of these therapists and say, maybe her bottling up all of her emotions is leading to that pot exploding uh, or the lid exploding off of the boiling pot, I should say, and it's manifesting itself in these bizarre conspiracy theories when she has no evidence for these weird claims that she says oftentimes on her show, but yet has the audacity to ironically claim that she values facts over feelings. Look, I don't get why she comes to these conclusions or where she comes up with these conspiracy theories, but I've got to say, on the subject of therapy, Candace, I hope your insurance covers it because you need it. Were you acting like a... Beta, beta, beta.